What's up, Coronacation? Welcome to day 95! Wait, we're already at 95? Oh, I didn't wear my watch. Oh man, that's unfortunate. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. You know, I thought that today we could talk about work. What a fun subject on oh. this. Well, you know, Father's Day is coming up. Yeah. And I remember as a kid, like, I just wanted to go to work with my dad. Okay. Pretty cool. And what did your dad do? He was a youth minister. Okay, okay. And then he was a pastor at a church. Uh -huh. um, and then after that, he did a lot of moving stuff, and that's when I stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually worked a lot with him. Uh, but yeah, so here I am today in the ministry. How about that? Yeah. I Funny think that I works. see why you liked going to work with him. My yeah. dad was a machinist and got really dirty. And I didn't want to go to work with him. Yeah, I did. Especially at four in the morning. So what kind of machine work did he do? Uh, like big metal things. He would plane them down. It was a pretty dirty job. Yep. Yeah. I'm curious as to what some of their dads do. What their jobs Let's are. I would love see. to hear. I know some of them, you know, like work in an office. and mm -hmm. Some of them are like maybe a coach. Um, some of them even do like sports announcings. Yeah. Some of them do that. Some of them um, eat and make food for a yep, living. Yep. Um, all kinds of jobs. All kinds of cool stuff. But I don't know that any of them do what we're about to talk about. Okay. I've collected us some really weird jobs that actually exist. Okay. And so, like, different than a pastor and machinist. Yeah, yeah. You would think. Oh. You would oh. think that these are make-believe jobs, but they're not. Are they you are sure? They're real. Yeah. At, at least according to Google. Again. So. This is crazy. So yeah. Can we share these? Yeah. Some of these may surprise you. Corey has not seen these yet. I like so this. You go first. Um, a snake milker? A snake milker. So the job of a snake milker is to collect the venom of poisonous snakes in jars and use an anti-venom and other medicines. Wow. Yeah. So he gets the venom. Yeah. That seems like a dangerous job. Let's just hope that he doesn't collect it by getting bit. That would be uh, bad. Yeah. That's, that would... that's an actual job. Yeah, it's a real job. Somebody gets paid to do that. You could grow up and become a snake milker. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, here's another one. There are professional sleepers I know, oh. I know some of coronation might be willing to do that kind of work. Wrap my mind around it. What's it look like? So, a professional sleeper, there, there are some hotels in Finland that I think started this, and it may have spread, but basically, the hotel hires a person to sleep in a different room, different bed, every night, and then leave a review of their experience sleeping in the hotel mattresses. Or on the hotel mattresses. Pretty cool. Do you think they have second jobs like during the day? I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how much it how much it pays. What? A dog food taster? Yeah. It's a real thing. Remember those jelly beans? Oh. <laughs> I do. Somebody had to know what dog food tasted like to make that happen. So the dog food tester's job is to taste new dog food products, including bones, meat, and biscuits and they do it to test the flavor and texture in comparison to rival food dog brands that's probably the grossest part because because <laughs> some have... of the rival foods are probably nasty yeah. so even if you got that job you're still tasting gross stuff which is weird you know because you can't just dogs don't talk so they can't tell you what yeah. if dogs had different taste buds than humans and, and they we're... prefer the gross dog food i guess we'll never know well, the dog food taster might know. That's true. Okay, here's another one. Have you ever heard of somebody watching paint dry? It's a phrase. Yeah, well, it actually exists. So, there are, there are guys that are hired to watch new paint dry, like new kinds of paint, so that Why? as it dries, as it dries, they can, you know, make reports on color changes and texture changes. How would you ever notice, though? Well, you gotta I feel like a before and after picture would be more efficient. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm not in the paint business, but... See, a... I thought he was going to say you watch the paint dry and tell people, don't touch the paint, it's wet. But that's completely different. No, it's just to see how 
paint dries. Uh oh, this is one that I think you could do. It's a odor judge. Okay. Like that? I don't know. I was kind of thinking that it was someone that stunk. In order to test the effectiveness of new products, odor judges are hired to smell volunteers' breath, feet, and armpits. Ugh. They make sure they make sure their judgment is accurate. The members of the staff have their sense of smell tested monthly. That's insane. So they're smelling the breath of a volunteer to see how it smells. Yeah, that's gross. I wouldn't want that. No, no. Um, okay, I have another one that coronation might be all about. Okay. There are full-time Netflix viewers. So basically, these guys, they're hired to watch everything that Netflix is going to release. Yikes. So, like, put stuff that we can't watch yet, mm -hmm. they get to pre-screen it, and then they tag it. You know, romance, uh, documentary, action, kid friendly, family. They they decide what the tag is. So yeah, that's a lot of screen time. Can you imagine that though? I bet those people still go, man, I gotta go to work today. <laughs> I gotta watch TV all day. Yeah. Marmite, Marmite? Marmite, I think is how you Tester, it's like a Nutella? Yeah, it's like Nutella. So uh, let's just read it. It says, they say you love it or hate it. And in the case of St. John Skelton, yeah. He really takes his ab appreciation to another level. As part of a team of Marmite tasters, he's responsible for checking each batch of Marmite to make sure it's correct texture, consistency, and flavor. In the 30 years he has been working there, he has eaten around 3,000 jars of that stuff. That's crazy. Wow. Even like peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Yeah. To think 3,000 jars of peanut butter. I don't know that I've, I don't, I have never really eaten Nutella. I've had it before, but I've never, I've never even gone through a whole jar. So. No, I have two in my thing because I thought I was out, but I still had some. No. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. I wonder how big he is. Hmm. I wonder if they're just sample size. Like, just 3,000 jars, though? Over 30 years, though. I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, so in Japan, there are paid train pushers. Now, it's not like they're going behind a train and pushing the train. That's not what they're doing. There's so many people that ride the subways oh. in Japan that, okay. that, the, that the subway, the train operation, yeah. hires people to push people into the train before the door shut so that they just cram them in there. People get paid to push. Yeah, dude. I bet they're all laid off right now. Mm, I bet they are. Not a lot of people ride a train. No. Oof. No. Scuba diving pizza This one's probably delivery my favorite. Man. Scuba diving pizza delivery man? Yeah. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. Who would do that? I would do that. That's cool. <laughs> so there's an underwater hotel in Florida who would have known um, if that wasn't bizarre enough. To add to that, they have scuba diving pizza delivery men who supply them with pizza by carrying them through the sea in a watertight case. You know what? That's I serious. don't believe it. I think I'm going to need to go. I don't even find out. Yeah, that they, one seems like I, I like the idea of an underwater hotel. Yeah. How would you get there? Boat or scuba? I guess scuba. Or swim. Hold your breath. Probably. I don't know. It's a hotel. Yeah. It's like a whole room. That, I mean, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I want, well, never mind. I'll keep that joke to Is myself. the pizza good? It's probably watered down. <laughs> I thought that's what he had in his brain and wanted to set him up. Uh, thank you. Okay, so, last but not least, this one's actually kind of sad, but kind of cool. Okay. Um, th it's a professional mourner. So... These people in Southeast Asia, it, it's it's customary that there'll be a loud funeral, and that people believe that they assist people into the afterlife. Okay. And people, so basically, people are paid to be really loud at a funeral. So just paid to cry. Paid to cry. They should hire like little kids. 
little ne- your baby next job, week. cry all the time. Yeah. Make some good money. It's true. So, those were weird, but there is a point to this. Good. There is a point. I was hoping <laughs> that there was a point in there somewhere. There is a point. So, why do we work, Corey? At the, at the most basic level, why do we work? Mm, there's probably an element of like needing to pay bills. Yeah, you gotta pay bills. So, you work and you have the faith, because you haven't seen the check yet, right? You haven't. When you're working, you haven't seen the money yet. Okay. Your work to get paid. So you're hoping for something that you haven't gotten yet. You see where I'm going with it? Kind of on the long, on the lines of faith. It's not quite the same thing, but it's kind of There's the same. There's an element yeah. of faith there. So you're you're working and hoping that you're getting something that you haven't seen yet. I remember when I was their age, like I, I needed to make extra money. I like, wanted some sodas or something, I don't know. And my mom said if I worked all day, then she would pay me. And I trusted her. I had faith that she was going to come through. Yeah. It would have been pretty disappointing had she not, because yeah. I worked hard all day long. Yeah, that's that's right. And you know, there is a part of Scripture that talks specifically about working and our faith. And so I would like to share that. Do it. Us. Yeah. It is James 2, starting in verse 4. 14, and you can pause this right now if you want to go get your Bible and follow along. Uh, James 2, 14 through 17 says, Suppose a person claims to have faith, but doesn't act on their faith. My brothers and sisters, can this kind of faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister has no clothes or food. Suppose one of you says to them, Go, I hope everything turns out fine for you. Keep warm, and suppose you do nothing about what they really need. Then what good have you done? It is the same with faith. If it doesn't cause us to do something, it's dead. So, where I was going with that, you know, we say we believe things. Mm. Like, we say we believe in Jesus Christ, that He raised from the dead, that He has changed our life, and that others others need to know that. Yeah. But if we never tell anybody, then do we really believe that? I mean, yeah. you know, do we really believe what, if our actions don't follow what we say, then do we really believe what we say? It'd be like you saying, you're my friend, right? but then you are mean to me, you never want to hang out, you yeah. just spit in my food. Or say bad things about you when you're not around. Yeah, or just plain ignore me. Yeah. Like, I think people say they believe in Jesus, but they ignore him. They don't have a relationship with him. Right. And so that's dead? Oh, yeah. It's like, it doesn't exist. Oh. So we can say that it does, but if our actions don't prove that it does, then it, does it exist? So they go hand in hand, our faith yeah. interactions. That's yeah. very important to know. Just like working and paying go hand in hand, mm-hmm. you know? Like, if you don't work, you don't get paid. Just like pizza and scuba divers uh, go yeah. hand in hand. You don't deliver that pizza underwater, those guys aren't paying you. <laughs> okay. You know? It all ties together. <laughs> but for real, at home, like, you know, if you... One thing that we've learned and that I learned growing up, you know, our words, our actions have to follow our words. If we say that we're sorry for doing something, mm-hmm. but then we keep doing it, are we really sorry? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um, or if like we're thankful for something that our parents have done for us, you know, but then we just have a bad attitude all the time, mm-hmm. are we really thankful? Or like when they ask us to do something like around the house, like work, like chores, and we say we'll do it, but then we don't do it. Yeah. Are we really working? Are we you gotta make sure these yeah. things line up. It's a good thing to stop and reflect. Are my actions and what I believe, what I say, my faith, are these all lining up? It's a big deal. It is a big deal. So, we have a challenge for you today. We're talking about working. You know, your mom and dad, people that take care of you, they, they work. They work to support the family. Mm-hmm. And so my challenge for y'all today is what can you do around the house to work, to show that you are a part of the family, that you are doing your part to help the family? What can you do to work? Maybe that's laundry. Maybe Maybe. it's doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's cutting the grass for some of your older kids. Maybe it's cleaning the floors. And having a good attitude while you do all this. That's right. Because... That makes the world of difference. I could clean a cup or I could Ugh. sling some water in a cup and throw a cup and that's not the same. That's right. 
Cool. Yeah. So y'all do that, and while y'all are doing that, we're gonna work on a game on our end, and we'll be right back. Cool. Let's see ya. All right, guys. I am here at the office, and there's somebody here that's working, like we've been talking about. It is Tyler Klotfelter. Hi. He's working with us. He's working on what you working on? I'm counting the communion to know if we have enough for both Thursday and Sunday or not. Because we got to do it a little bit different now, don't we? Mhm. Mm yeah, they're all in bags and stuff. You see, we and have Tyler. To have each little communion in a bag of its own. That's right. And he's been working hard. All like what? You've been here. All week working, just about, right? Ooh. You were here last week? Yeah. Yeah, he's been here a lot, maybe not all week, but he has been working a lot. Tyler, do you have time to play a game with me? Yeah. Sweet, all right, come here. Does dad have hair on his chinny chin chin? Decide if the dad in each family photo has a beard or not. You got that? All right, does he got a beard or not? I'm gonna say no. What? No? No. Oh, alright, there's one right. What do you think about this guy? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Some of these are so good, aren't they? Mm hmm What about this guy? Yeah, definitely. Oh, Tyler. This is a good game. Alright, what about this dad? No. No? No. Got two right. Real beard, fake beard. No. What? <laughs> All right. Real beard, fake beard. I think it's a real beard. No. Yes. What? Oh, that's my point. How? Real beard, fake beard. No. Real beard. No. You got it. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Oh, real beard, fake beard. No. Real beard. No. Yes. I counted it before I got it. I was confident. Real beard, fake beard. No. no. Yes, I'm going to go with yes. No. We're tied. We are tied. Real beard, fake beard. No. Yes. Oh, Amy. Okay. Real beard, fake beard. Yeah. No, I'm going to go no. Oh. We're tied again. Real beard, fake beard. Yeah. yeah. No beard. Five. I'm beating Tyler by one. I'm not gonna lose. Real beard, fake beard. Yes, yes. No beard. Yes. Oh, Tyler, I got six. I'm not going to lose. Real beard, yes. fake beard. Yes, yes, yes. No beard. Come on. Oh, dude, seven I got seven. There's tough. Oh, hey, good game, Tyler. Good game. I tougher. Did you win? No. Oh, it. It's okay though. Four to seven. Did Andrew win? Yes. Four to seven. It's okay. He has a beard. Corona, coronation, I mean, you've seen me lose many, many, many games. Mm -hmm. It feels good to actually beat a coronacator. Because there, you know, I haven't got to play against coronacation much. I just assume that y'all are always beating me. But I finally get to beat one. I'm sorry, Tyler. Nah. Maybe next time? Nah. Yeah? Maybe. Hey, well, thanks for putting in the work for us, man. That's what's most important. Yeah. I really appreciate it. All right, dude, you want to say anything as we... Send them off? Um, not really. Alright, peace out.